Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for the devotional today. Today we're at Job chapter two, verse three. It reads this way, and the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil? He still holds fast to his integrity. Although you incited me against him to destroy him, without reason. You know, have you ever had one of those days or maybe weeks or years <laughs> where you did not know if the trials and the tests were ever going to end? Of course you have. <laughs> Even I have. This might be your day today. And as you're trying to make sense out of your suffering, know that God may see it as unreasonable as well. Do you see how God responded to Satan here? He declared to him, you incited me against him to destroy him without reason. Do you see that? Without reason. But as you're spending all this time reasoning about your suffering, you might need to reason about something else as well. That there is a great God who still rules all things. A God with absolute sovereign control. A God who's not tempted or threatened by Satan's relentless requests as he roams planet Earth. A God who knows just how much you can handle. And a God who may see in you the courage and the temperance and the perseverance and the endurance of a man like Job. A man who God said, there is none like him on all the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears me and turns away from evil. So, fellas, today, as you consider the trials and the temptations that won't stop, do two things for me. First, stop reasoning about why Satan is tempting you, because he usually doesn't have a lot of reason, because <laughs> he's pretty unreasonable. And number two, second, start reasoning about why God has chosen you. Search long and hard for why God may have chosen you for this time of suffering. Like Job, he may have chosen you because he sees something noble in you that will become a witness for others through your season of suffering for their season of suffering. And then once you have identified this quality, pray for its increase in you. And then stand strong. So remember, when you have those days where Satan will just not let up, he will not stop, remember, you are chosen by God and that he may have chosen you for an extraordinary story, one of great victory over evil and sin that will be used in this life to display God's great story, a story that he's writing right now in you. Well, thanks for joining me today. I wanna to encourage you to share this with someone you know who may be struggling through some suffering. And remember, I'll see you right back here again.